Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today it is the first empties video of the year. This is my empties for January 2021 and I am absolutely blown away <laughs> by how many empties I've got. I'm honestly delighted. I can't believe it and I really think it's because I have changed my focus and my whole outlook towards my collection. I'm really, really targeting now products that have already been open, smaller products, and taking part in all these different project planning sort of things that are out there on the Fantastic Ladies has just, is honestly, it's made such, such a difference. So grab a cuppa, we've got lots to get through, and then yeah, let's get started. I've now, this time, I'm gonna be splitting things into the different categories. So I'm gonna be just doing all my hair care, then my skincare, makeup, and body. So it'll all be in categories. So hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to follow. I will, at the end of each category, I'll tell you how many things have gone out, how many have come in, and then what my sort of the difference is. But I'm in a deficit this year, this month. I'm so, so happy. So I'm gonna start off, I think, with body products. So this covers all like your bath things, your moisture, um, your body creams, all that type of stuff. So the usual suspects to begin with, I have two boxes of Redox bath salts. I really enjoy these and um, yeah, I talk about them all the time. So we won't go on about them too much, but there are two of those. I've also finished a Redox bubble bath, which was the muscle soak one, which is sage and sea minerals. Really, really nice. These are so cheap, aren't they? Make lots of bubbles. Oh, it smells really, really gorgeous. Um, if I am going to buy a bubble bath from like home bargains or anywhere, it's always Redox I pick up. I don't pick up any others. If you can recommend any that you really, really enjoy, do let me know and I'll try them out. But for now, that's that one done. I have this, which I've just finished in one of my recent projects, which was the Cassoni Moisturising Body Wash. I wouldn't repurchase it. It was nice enough smelled a little bit clinical to me and just a bit too quirky looking like a can but it was nice i was cleansed it was moisturizing but um yeah i wouldn't repurchase i'm going to go through these as quick as i can we've got a lot so if you want to know any other things about particular products feel free to drop me a comment and i can um answer a little bit more now then we have a few more little bath salt things here so this was the himalayan healing salts by maui and um these were really nice, just enough for one use. Um, quite chunky actually. I think was it was it a pink salt? I think they were like little pink rocks. I don't think they fully dissolved. They took a bit. They were quite chunky, but it was nice. I enjoyed using them. And yeah, they were nice enough. They're just these things you get in your boxes, aren't they? Next was a disastrous bubble tea fairy dust in lavender. It was just like leftovers from the factory floor that makes bath bombs it was shocking however bubble tea did see my thing on instagram and they very kindly sent me a little package of goodies because um, which i thought was very kind so yeah that's that one gone i wouldn't would not repurchase that now we have a body lotion this has taken forever um this is one of the things that I have picked up because I knew it was nearly finished. It was literally probably down to about there when I just sort of picked it back up again this month. And I thought, let's just focus all our attention on these unfinished products. And to be honest, it didn't take that much to finish it off. Zesty Lemon. I used to pick these up in um, Latest in Beauty all the time. They are a lovely, lovely body lotion. They're very light. They are nice. Um, I have had more hydrating body lotions, but, you know, it, they, they give a good a good sort of performance really so they're nice and there's sort of lots of good things about them like with no um parabens or mineral oils or anything like that so yeah they're nice they're nice um what i did love was the nux um body lotion here Re oh, i just love the smell of nux products so nice the, the fragrance links is very heavily perfumed so if you don't like that you won't like this but um you can just sort of pop it on and it just all day long you smell beautiful it's this beautifying scented body lotion and it really really is it's gorgeous it gives a satin finish i loved it absolutely loved it next was a neon hand cream only a little tiny one um i mentioned this in one of my other updates of my project pans and if i had to buy one hand cream and that was all it would be this it is really really beautiful i think the full size is nine pounds my hands felt gorgeous 
hydrated, nourished, and then it lasted for hours. Honestly, really, really lovely hand cream, worth the money. We've got a little perfume here, which is Pure Grace by Philosophy. Lovely fragrance. Again, there wasn't very much left in that. It just was a couple of uses to finish it off. So I'm I'm pleased it's out my collection, but sad because it is a beautiful fragrance, actually. Really nice, really nice. And again, we got that in one of our boxes. It's gorgeous. Body scrubs. Absolutely love body scrubs. Now, this was a huge one. And it was a skin alchemist, um, the chocolate curve, nourishing body exfoliate scrub and it's just oh, you can see there all gone really beautiful thick sort of like a sugar scrub with like an oily base not too oily and it stayed lovely and firm in the tub so when every time you dip your hand in it wasn't sort of getting pulling with water or anything like that it was just it stayed a nice firm texture good scrubby scrub and um, the what i like as well is the lid is big enough to get your hand in so you can scoop it out and then um, glass jar i absolutely loved it it was just it 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 was beautiful a gorgeous gorgeous product i only got that fairly recently so the fact i've finished it I'm, I'm pleased this is another nux product and it is the where is it a melting honey body oil balm and that is exactly what it is i hadn't read that on there and i thought how can i describe this um, when I was using it and it literally felt like it started off like a cream and as you rubbed it in it did sort of melt into like an oil type consistency just gorgeous I was sad when it finished smells beautiful it has got that sort of slight honey undertones but it was literally one of the nicest body lotions I've used in a long long time it was gorgeous I loved the formula of it my skin felt really really lovely after using it I have another body scrub and this was the organic brightening body scrub by Wild Tree Skin and it was um, baobab, avocado and cacao. Oh, there we go. And that was it there. All gone. Another glass jar. This one. Oh, I forgot how nice this smell. It's just, oh, I can't, what is it that I can smell in there? I don't know. There's just something really almost citrusy about it. And um, again, a really nice scrubby scrub. That sugar-based scrub with the oil sort of infused through it. My skin was left feeling just, oh, gorgeous. I am a scrub addict. <laughs> um, really beautiful. I would, oh, lovely. I would, both of them scrubs, I would really recommend. I enjoyed both. So those are my empties in the body section. There were 14 empties. I have got a few declutters as well. And um, the first one is one I've just discussed actually in my previous video, and it was this perfume by Colleen. It's probably about 10, 12 years old. There's a bit left, but I used it just to try and finish it off. And I had a bit of like a, an allergic rhinitis, which I'm associating with this, so I don't want to use it. The smell was still okay, to be fair, but it's gone. I have one of these, which I just saw, which was a little bath and shower gel. I could probably use it, but I just don't feel the need to. And I've had it forever. Um, it looks like it's something that's probably come from a hotel. <laughs> so that's gone. And we had another little bath and shower gel from Centre Parks. Oh. <laughs> so I brought that home. I'm not going to use it. I'm decluttering it. It doesn't need to stay in. And then, can you believe it? I'm decluttering a body scrub. Very sad about this. It was the um, Mum and You Get Up and Glow Body Scrub. I got this from Latest in Beauty. When I first got it, I, I quite liked it. It it was a weird consistency. It's not my normal um, sugar scrub type ones that I enjoy. It was more like a um, like a thick conditioner, like a hair conditioner almost, with some grains in it. And the smell was a bit funky, to be fair. It smelled a little bit um, paint stripper-ish but lovely big wide bait rim which i enjoy but you'll better see if you can see because i don't know it just went really watery as i because obviously you don't get everything you need in your first dip for your body do a bit do that and go to the other arm other leg etc and every time i dipped it just because of the cream base it just became more and more diluted i'm scared that i am um, I spill it on my carpet but it is i don't know if you can see it is just so watery so it has to go i'm afraid but 
the smell wasn't great um i did check the dates because i am a bit wary about things from latest and beauty but to be fair it was in date it had plenty of dates on it um but i just it just didn't perform so yeah that's that so that's four decluttered products in there so in total for my um body there are 18 products gone out my collection right let me just move this down and we'll move on to hair products so let's see i think everything in here they're all empties so is that right yeah all empties no declutters so the first one i have is a conditioner by herbal essences and it is like the coconut one i really really enjoy these they're very very nice I always finish my conditioners before my shampoos. It's a bit annoying, but yeah, there we are. So that was that. I do repurchase them. I like them. Next one was gorgeous. If you don't like rose, you won't like this, but it's by Umberto Giannini and it's a colour range and it was the Florology um, Cocoa and Rose Hair Mask. Really beautiful. I literally finished this yesterday. The only thing is it is very um, rose scented, quite heavily rose scented, but the consistency was a bit like a thick blancmange and I just enjoyed it. It rinsed out really nicely. Whenever I used it, my hair was nice, soft, shiny. So yeah, I would um, strongly recommend that if you're on the lookout for one. Plus it's colour safe for your hair. Um, it just says here it prevents breakages, strengths and shines, anti-pollution, defrizz and smooth. So yeah, um, and it didn't only had to stay on about three to six minutes. So it's one that you can use in the shower, which I find really important with hair masks because I can't be bothered leaving them on for 20 minutes. So if I've got one that I can use whilst I'm then like using my body scrubs and getting washed, I'm more likely to finish it off. But yeah, it was a really, really nice hair product. Just finished this this morning and it was a Areeb Wave and Shine Spray. It was in one of my project pans. Um, I have chatted about a bit more on my monochromatic project pan thing. There was only a little bit left in it. I just wanted to finish it off. It hasn't left my hair feeling um, sticky tacky or anything like that. So it was quite nice, but I wouldn't go out my way to buy it. Uh, oh, going on with the, um, obviously from that hair mask there, in the same range that is the Miracle Mist by Umberto Genie, and he just finished that as well. And I think it was just a bit of like a detangler and um, yeah, colour protect styling spray. So it just sort of helped to preserve your colour while she's sort of using the heat products on there. It was nice, but again, very, very rosy. So if you don't like rose, you won't like that. I had a tiny by Bayo. Um, oh, this is in the wrong one. I thought that was a hair product. Oh, that's just scuppered my numbers. I need to pop that over there when we do our um, skin products. Heck. <laughs> okay, we have the Amica um, Reset Exfoliating Jelly Shampoo. Got this in a birch box, I think. Absolutely loved it. If um, It's a bit of like a, a scrub for your hair and it helps to get rid of product buildup. My hair was left beautiful. It's not the most um, firming shampoo, which I don't mind, but my hair felt really, really nice. I would consider purchasing a full size of that. I really enjoyed it. And we had an Amica Bust Your Brass, so it's like a purple shampoo just to get rid of um, brassiness in blonde hair. I think I got just over one use out of that. Um, it was fine. I don't think I'd feel the need to repurchase it, but it kind of did what it said it was going to do. And then my final hair product is by Percy and Reed, and it is the Wonder Night Wonder Overnight Recovery um, hair product. This is so nice. You pop it on your dry hair at night, then you go to bed. And then the next morning, you just wash your hair and condition it as usual. And your hair is left felt um, beautiful and soft. It doesn't make your pillowcase go all funny. It just absorbs into your hair and it's kind of left dry but nourished overnight. So yeah, it's a really, really um, different way to use a, um, a hair mask. And I enjoyed it. I Would I buy it? I might purchase it. But currently, I have so many hair products to get through. But it certainly works and you do see results. So if you um, are on the lookout for a product that you can use and you don't like sitting with hair masks for 20 minutes, maybe try this and you can just do it as an overnight treatment. All right, guys, let me go and get my next category. They're just over there. I'll be back in a tick. Right, guys, so my actual numbers for my hair because I got one of the products mixed up. So I had um, seven hair care empties which is really really good so i'm going to move on to makeup next and then we'll finish off with skincare because i've got a lot of skincare products so in my makeup i had two empties 
and five declutters. So my empties, first off, was just a little tiny primer by Too Faced. It was the Hangover Primer. So tiny, and yet it's been in my collection for ages. So I just really focused on that. I thought, get it finished off. It was nice. I just primers are kind of like, they're not just like posh moisturizers. <laughs> I think unless they're illuminating but um I can't say I noticed that it made my skin like look like it had awoken or anything but it was nice enough I didn't hate it and then I finished off one of my foundations I have got so many of these as backups but I do enjoy it I talk about them a lot in my shop mustache yes I do repurchase them but I'm wanting to try and get through all of these now so I can start looking at different foundations because I think it, I need to just venture out and try a few different things but it is a really nice one i'm wearing it today um yeah it's a nice nice one um decluttering is a um a maybelline it is a a thingy an eyeliner what do you call them a gel liner i've had it for years it is dried up i'm not going to use it so i thought i'd just declutter it so it is going out of my collection and then the next one are all um, lip products, which I sort of found that I didn't like. So there was the Sleek Map Me. You can check my 365 days of lippies if you need to sort of hear anything else about that. But I just don't like them. There was this Gold Revolution Lip Pencil, which was hideous. The CLE, which I'm a bit sad about, but it's just not for me. Um, yeah, it's just sad. And also a Revolution Liquid Lip that's gone as well i have got others to go out they're going to get included in february's um i just haven't got them to hand but i've got a few more to go as well so that was my makeup short and sweet so for makeup there i had um two empties and five declutters okay skincare are we ready for this in total i have got 23 skincare empties and one declutter. I'm like, I'm delighted with this. So let's have a little look. So the first one that I have here was by Bayo and it was a refreshing face wash, 30 mils. This took forever to finish. Honestly, considering it's so small, I thought it'd be done really quick, but it lasted so long. Very, very citrusy, kind of reminds me a bit sort of grapefruit vibes. And then um, it, it, it rinses off nice. And then, yeah, it was nice enough. I used it as a second cleanse or as just my single cleanse in the morning. So, yeah, it was lovely. They've got quite, um, they're quite a nice brand, quite um, natural and everything else like that. Check them out on Insta. Next thing is my declutter. And this had been at the caravan. It's definitely a couple of years old. And it, I'm a bit sad about it, actually, that I'd left it there. And it's by Temple Spa. And it is their um, balm. In the beginning, it's a deep cleansing melt. And... Normally, I think, oh, just use it, but the texture and everything has just changed. I'll show you. It looks just, it's got a bit opaque, and um, yeah, it just doesn't look right. And I know it's only gone on the skin, and then you're rinsing it off, but I just don't want to use it, and it's probably well past its best. Um, actually, I got it in January 2019. Oh, well, it's two years old, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so that's going to go. That's my declutter. I'm really sad because it's Temple Spa. Okay, here we go. So I had a Caudalie Vino Pure Purifying Gel Cleanser. This was nice, but did um, I'm just trying to think, actually. I don't know if it's this one. I think my skin felt a little bit tight after it. Was it this one? It might have been. I wasn't... Um, I quite like the fragrance. It was fine. I've obviously finished it, so I didn't hate it. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'd purchase that one again, actually. I've had much nicer ones than that. Um, next was a Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. Um, it was fine, but it's expensive, and I just don't think it's worth the money, so I would not repurchase that. I have a um, Strivectin super c retinol it's just a little serum there i have spoken about this in my um burn and turn project i use that so if you want to see a little bit more information about that pop on there it was nice enough but um yeah it was fine a lot of these are so expensive and skincare items to be fair, I don't think most of them I'd repurchase purely because I have a constant supply of skincare coming in through my boxes. And then I am going to be starting from next month. I'm going to write proper notes, actually, on my skincare. I don't think I'm going to have as many 
next month is what I have this month because I literally focused on all the things that are like virtually finished off. And I think there's like the last couple of days in December as well. So it's just slightly more than a month's worth here. Um, I had this, which was the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Really, really lovely product. It is a, um, a bit of a cult one, isn't it? It's nice. It was lovely. One of my favourites is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is one of the minis. Finally finished it off. I do like it. I think Mercedes Wilson says that she thinks it smells of wee. <laughs> Is that what she said? I'm sure it's, I think it's like the rice. It is because it's like a ground, like a really fine like rice powder. Um, I really, really enjoy it. And my skin always feels beautiful afterwards. I have got a full size to get through of that now. But I'm going to just leave that for a while and just get through a few of my smaller exfoliators. Plus I have the Good Molecules um, pineapple powder, one that I want to try before I go back onto my Dermalogica. Um, talking of Good Molecules, I had the Super Peptide Serum. Finish this bad boy absolutely lovely and you know when this had finished uh, oops <laughs> when this had finished and then the week afterwards my skin started feeling really really dry and I couldn't work out why and then I've worked out I think it's because I was no longer using this product so I had to really up my skincare game by using lots and lots of other products to try and compensate but this was amazing. I love it. I really do. And it's not, I get it in PR. I'm not saying I love it because I get it for free. But honestly, if you haven't tried it, do give it a go. It is really lovely. I've also finished my Good Molecules um, Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I've literally, that took so long to use up. A really, really lovely toner. I enjoyed using that as well. I am, I am trying to get into the habit of using toners more regularly. Um, yeah, I'm getting better at doing it, obviously. Now, this was a really, really lovely product, surprisingly so. And it was the Face Off um, Cleansing Oil. And it is by... Um, is it Born Beautiful? We got um, a lot of products by this company in one of our Discovered Beauty boxes. This was gorgeous. It is... It smells very tropical. Yeah, oh, it just, it smells so nice. Like, it smells like a, a, a nice lolly that you'd eat in the summer. Um, gorgeous. I loved it, the fact that it was a pump. And I just put a few pumps in my hand, rub it all over my face to sort of, um, as my first cleanse, it's sort of, then rub it like gently over my eyes to loosen off my mascara and things like that. And my eye makeup, it worked so, so well. I was sad to see it finish. It was a really, really lovely product. It's by a brand that I'd never heard of before. So I'm really pleased to have been introduced to their products. Gorgeous, gorgeous facial oil. I have got a little Anna Sui eye makeup remover. I've just discussed this in my monochromatic project pan. Not a fan at all. I am so glad it's done. I definitely will not be repurchasing that. And I think the Nivea eye makeup remover does a far better job and for a fraction of the price, in my opinion. Um, I have an Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Do you know, I used to love these so much. I'm going right off them. And it's a shame because I've still got a few to get through. Um, they're nice enough at removing your sort of um, heavy makeup off your face. However, unlike, for example, maybe the Body Shop um, cleansing balm, which you can use to lift all your eye makeup off and that, this does sting my eyes. If I put it anywhere near my eyes, they hate it. And yeah, the more I use it, the less I like it. Isn't that strange? I used to love it so, so much. But yeah, so it's a pro collagen cleansing balm. It's a cult one, you know, it's the yellow one. They've got um, like the rose one and I think they've got another one now as well. But it feels lovely when you put it on your face, but it's so fragranced. Um, yeah, I'm uh, going off it. Once I've used all these, I won't repurchase them at all. Definitely not. Now, this was gorgeous. It was by Shiseido and it was a vital protection, uplifting and firming cream. Really lovely. I absolutely enjoyed this. My skin felt beautiful after using it. A really lovely, rich moisturiser. Um, perfect, I think, for older skin as well. I just enjoyed it so, so much. Equally enjoyed this by Estee Lauder, which was a resilience multi-effect. It's a tripeptide face and neck cream. Beautiful. It's in a little box here. But... Look at the pots. They are gorgeous, these minis. Really, really lovely cream. Sadly, not cruelty-free, but it was a, a gorgeous product. Uh, I can't lie. My skin felt amazing after using it. 
I have a Balance Me Trimolecular Hyaluronic Serum, not as nice as the Good Molecules, um, and it's one of the old Balance Me products. I'm a bit funny with Balance Me. I, I think I expect more from them than what they actually deliver. I did actually drop this <laughs> and spilt most of it, and I was quite pleased <laughs> that I had. So yeah, I'm pleased that it's out my collection. I just didn't think it was that great, to be honest. Next, we have a Vasanti Brighten Up Exfoliator. Finish this, woohoo. I love a face scrub, love them. I just, there's something I really enjoy about, <laughs> about exfoliators and I don't know why. Um, I think I just love it because I have that instant result. But I think, just be careful you don't use them too much. I think this one made my face, I think I used it a couple of days on the trot and then when I put on extra skincare afterwards, it just got a little bit irritated and um, I think it was maybe slightly abrasive, um, maybe a little bit too abrasive. So just go steady with it, use a small amount and not too often, maybe even once a week would be enough. I kind of tend to exfoliate about three times a week. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've got a lot of old skin to get off my face. I have got a Natura Potato and Parsley Infused Under Eye Mask. Really nice. I enjoy the Natura masks, whether they're the eye masks, face masks. Um, they're just a nice little product, aren't they? And I think all eye masks are just about getting a bit of extra serum to your under eyes. And they, I think they have a, a good sort of minimal effect, don't they? They'll work for a short period of time and your eyes will seem brighter. Definitely the skin seems a little bit tighter and more taut and less puffy so it was a nice product i have got quite a few eye masks though so it's not something i'd repurchase in the immediate future um another little estee lauder sachet this time which was the revitalizing supreme plus another little cream really lovely so lovely um god damn you estee lauder for not being cruelty free um beautiful product and the clinique one as well was also nice the moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator just trying to get my sachets used up. They all count as an empty though in my book. It was nice. It, again, I got a few um, uses out of this little sachet. Now this was a pain in the bum. So it was um, Face Ink by Nails Ink Bubble Burst. It came like this in this little pod, which when you got it, it um, was like that. So, and it says on here like single use. So I thought, all right, it's fine. No, it was full of serum. But it was such a pain because then you'd pop it on. I just thought it was going to be put it on. That's it done. No, it just lasted and lasted. And I was left with this stupid pot. I suppose I could have decanted it into one of my little empty jars. But I didn't because I'm stupid. And it got to the point. I was just so sick of it. You're meant to put it on, I think, like after a mask or maybe before your other moisturisers. It's just another level of your skincare. But I just thought it was a bit of a faff. And I can't say that I noticed anything Fabulous from it, so I wouldn't repurchase it. I've got a Good Jeans Glycolic Acid Treatment by Sunday Riley. It was nice enough, but I just don't think I noticed that much of an improvement in my skin. But having said that, I've used a lot of different products in January, so it's been really difficult um, to know exactly what's doing what. However, now at the end of the month compared to the beginning, my skin is feeling really, really lovely, and I am like multi-layering products i'm using so many products i'll sort of cleanse then i'll tone i'll put um some serums on some like vitamin c some like oils like a rosehip oil maybe squalene and then a moisturizer then <laughs> then um a primer <laughs> there's a lot going on my face before foundation hits it but gonna be 50 i need as much moisture into my skin as i can get and it's feeling really supple really good i don't think my skin's looking too bad considering so yeah i'm happy and it was nice um won't repurchase it because i think it's a bit pricey nearly there nearly there now this next one is one of my favorite products of january and it was pretty athletic recovery boost cell repair serum and it has and um, with with what is it? Is it phytosteroids, vitamin A and C, grapeseed, jasmine and rose. I have had this for a couple of years, never used it. You pop it on at night and it is literally one of the nicest products I have ever used. I am amazed. This is going to be one. One day in the future when I'm like 80 and I've used all my products up, I will buy myself a bottle or jar, however it comes, of this really lovely mess you put it on initially it feels a little bit greasy a little bit oily and it does but just give it 15 20 minutes honestly just persevere and then 
skin sucks it up and then you're left with the most beautiful beautiful feeling skin i absolutely loved it it was brilliant so nice strongly recommend it now just two masks left this was a pax Moly real lavender face mask i'm um, just a sheet mask it was nice it was lovely and um, yeah i enjoyed using it it says here it um relaxes skin and improves skin elasticity um well my skin doesn't didn't feel tight after it it felt nice so yeah and then this one if you want to get your money's worth out of a mask, get one of these. This was a GM Solution Camellia Glacier Water Icelandic Mask. There is still, I'd say, that much serum in the bottom. You could definitely decant this out. It is. It was dripping. It was so nice, and my skin was definitely brighter after using it. It says here um, it provides radiance, brightening effect to your skin um, for an even and clear complexion, and I'd say yes it did it was noticeably brighter and, and it just looked healthier i really really liked it i have got one more of these so i'm really pleased but yeah it was a, a lovely mask that's it there and guys well done we're finished so <laughs> oh it's only half an hour i think i've done all right but looking now um if you haven't seen my entries video which is like a new video that i've brought to my channel that was on yesterday i can link it down below for you what I was doing then, I was looking at all the products that were coming in from my beauty boxes in January and um, broken into the different categories of hair, skin, makeup, face and miscellaneous. Um, so looking at my empties versus my entries, what I'm wanting to do is to be getting more going out than what's coming in so that I'm working down my collection and I'm getting fewer things in there. This is my mantra this is my mission in for 2021 is to get a much more reasonably sized collection. So for my skincare products, so this month coming in, I had 10 coming in, but I had 24 going out, which is brilliant. For makeup, I had three products coming in, but I've got seven going out. Body, I had five coming in, 18 going out. Hair, one in, seven out. Oh, this is brilliant. So in total, I had 19 products coming into my collection, but 56 products going out, which means I have reduced my size of my collection by 37. So I'm already down 37 on my inventory from the start of the year. So I'm really, really happy with that. I think I'm definitely going in the right direction. This was a good month because there were a lot of minis in there um, and sachets and things are part used products that I just sort of finished off. But I'm sure there are lots more things in there that I can really target as I go through and just focus myself and just work hard at using up what I have. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've really, really enjoyed sharing it with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you have any recommendations. And then um, you can also share my video <laughs> on your channel, on your other social media platforms or just with your friends if you wish. But um, you don't need to do that. I just like you being here with me. So I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm going to go. Thank you so much. I will see you again in my next video. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye for now.